Hello children. Today we will study the poem Tiptoe Night. Okay. This is on page number 67. So children this poem Tiptoe Night. Uh, the, the poet name is John Drinkwater. Okay. John Drinkwater. Uh, this poet John Drinkwater. He was a, a British uh, poet and used to write plays also. Okay. And in this poem, that is Tiptoe Night, uh, the poet describes the night, um, the coming of night, and he compares the night to a person. Okay, and we will see how he uh, describes the night as a person. He uses uh, the words which shows that he is talking about the night like a person, and that is known as personification. When we compare something to the human nature okay and so we will see how this figure of speech personification is used in this poem how the night has been compared to a person okay and it the, the poet describe it uh, like a person who is softly tiptoeing in tiptoeing in children means softly coming in okay so uh, first I will read out the poem and you will see the pronunciation and all and you will try to learn in the same way, okay? So, Tiptoe Night by John Drinkwater. Tiptoe Night comes down the lane, all alone without a word, taking for his own again, every little flower and bird. Not a footfall, not a sigh, not a ripple of the air. Not a sound to reckon by, yet I know that he is there. And I count them as I wait, step by tiptoe, step until, hush, he is at the garden gate, hush, he is at the windowsill. Okay children, so this is a small poem. And tiptoe means what? Tiptoe means walking on toes okay when you walk very quietly when you uh, when you want that somebody should not know that you are uh, coming or going whatever then you walk on your toes no then walking on toes means what that walking very quietly okay uh, walking on the tips of your toes that is known as tiptoe okay so walking quietly so, so that um, others sh uh, could not um, get to know that you are walking that is tiptoeing tiptoe so the speaker in the poem refers to the knight as a person okay who is drawing and coming nearer as it walks okay and uh, the knight is walking that person who is a knight actually walking silently uh, down the street uh, until he reaches the gate okay until he reaches the gate and then from the gate to the window sill window sill children means uh, the window frame you can say okay so the speaker calls him tiptoe knight as he because why he uh, calls uh, him tiptoe knight because he comes very silently okay you will see in the poem also how uh, it is mentioned and without speaking a word he comes alone because nobody is there with him so this the night comes alone and uh, it as it comes it covers every flower and it covers every bird with its darkness when the light comes it becomes very dark now and unless you switch on the lights and all you cannot see anything so as the night comes it covers all flowers and birds with its darkness okay and each time he comes he does the same and he comes without a sound and means there is no sound of footsteps and not a sigh sigh s-i-g it sighs the word sigh means what a long deep breath that can be heard like this you say now okay this is called sigh sigh of breath we say now so uh, if this night is coming very quietly there is no uh, sound of footsteps and not even a sigh that you can hear okay and means there is uh, and yet the speaker can sense his coming every time if the night is coming very quietly no sigh no footstep sound nothing but still the speaker can um, understand the speaker can come uh, can understand or can hear when the night is coming okay so in short this is the um, summary of the poem okay 
so let's let me uh, explain you line by line now so tip to night comes down the lane all alone without a word tiptoe i told you walking on the toes is called tiptoe and it comes down the lane lane means what narrow street in hindi we say gali okay so <coughs> this night is coming all alone ma without making any noise any sound very quietly slowly it is coming in the lane okay why does the co uh, speaker call the night tiptoe night because the night comes without us being aware of its coming okay and what are the expression the speaker used to describe uh, that uh, how silently tiptoe night comes uh, it's saying na all alone without a word these are the words that shows that uh, the speaker is telling that uh, tiptoe night is uh, means coming all alone okay taking for his own again every little flower and bird okay taking for his own again so uh, this means that uh, the night when it is coming it is uh, means it covers all the flowers all the birds with its darkness okay when it is dark we, we are not able to see birds and flowers that is why it is taking saying taking for his own again every little flower and bird means it is um, forming an envelope uh, with its darkness and covering all the flowers and birds so why does the speaker say that uh, tiptoe night takes the bird and the flowers for his own again uh, means that darkness envelops or it covers the bird and flowers every night okay and means they cannot be seen by us and then no um not a footfall not a sigh not a ripple of the air footfall means what footsteps the sound of each step when you uh, when you walk there is some sound produced by your foot right uh, so that sound which is produced by your uh, foot is called footsteps okay footfall sorry footfall the footsteps sound are called footfall so not a footfall not a sigh sigh means as i told you a long deep breath that is known as sigh so uh, the, the the speaker is saying that not a footfall not a sigh not a ripple of the air okay so uh, when it is coming uh, there is no sound it is coming very very quietly there is no sound there is not even a sound of sigh and not a ripple of the air means even though there is no sound the air is also very quiet and there is no sound produced in the air also but still how does she know that tip to night is coming because she sense the, the speaker senses it creeping closer or means you can say as the darkness spread the speaker sense senses that the night is creeping in or coming okay so if the night creeps in so softly how can the uh, speaker hear its footfall the speaker can imagine that because uh, it is uh, dark and uh, the foot the foot uh, the thing the footsteps creeping up to the garden gate and after the garden gate it is going to the window sill okay not a sound to reckon by reckon by means imagine think so not a sound to reckon by yet i know that he is there and i count them as i wait step by tip to step until same thing that i said that um, means it, this the night is uh, and the speaker is saying that the night is coming all alone the night is coming very quietly it is not making any sound and it is covering all the flowers and birds and very quietly it is doing this but still i get to know when the night is coming because it can imagine the footfall the sound of the footsteps as it enters because the darkness spreads and the night enters the gate and then slowly slowly it comes and reaches the window sill okay hush he's at the garden gate hush he's at the window sill so here uh, the means the, the speaker kind of order us to do something and what does the speaker order us to do you can see in the last two lines that the speaker ask us to be quiet two times the word hush is used okay hush means what it is a way of hush we sing a sh 
that is so it is a way of saying be quiet okay the speaker wants us to be quiet and is saying that the night has come so he is at the garden gate hush he is at the window sill so the speaker wants us to be quiet as the night is approaching the gate and then it is approaching the window sill okay so children this was the poem all about and you can see the uh, means the repetitions that are the sound patterns that are used in the poem uh, that is you can see lane again then word bird then uh, sigh by air there wait gate until sill these are the uh, sound you can say the rhyming words that are used in the poem as i told you that here figure of speech is used that is personification okay because the poet is comparing the knight to a person and you can see the words uh, the knight is referred to as person in such expressions you can see in the poem as taking for his own his we use for person okay for um, uh, means for a man we use for a boy and here the poet uses the word uh, his for knight so that means it is comparing the speaker is comparing the knight with a purse to a person so taking for his own then footfall means footfall means what sound of the footsteps the footsteps only means people can have no knight cannot have footsteps but still the poet has used this word footsteps this also shows that the knight is being compared to a person then sigh sigh means what the sound of a lo uh, long breath so that is also the word that shows the personification then he is there he is there he is is used that also shows then he's at garden gate he's at window sill so that also shows that uh, the um, poet is using um, personification figure of speech to compare the knight with the uh, person okay so children we will do the exercise part also there is only one exercise we will do that also so pay, turn the page page number 68 question answers you will get as pdf and we will do this third one uh, you know, answer these question part a third one take the correct phrases about night so uh, five options are there so first one is correct comes so softly that we don't know about it this is the correct option Second, come slowly and does not disturb us. No, it is wrong. Bring along the birds and flowers. No, stand without moving near the gate. No, here does not make the air move even slightly. This is also correct. So A and E are the correct option. Okay, first and last one. And then B part also question answer is there. You will get it as PDF. Okay, then the speaker describes the night as if it is a person. Uh, find such example okay enjoying the poem also we can discuss children i'm just discussing it with you the speaker describes a knight as if it is a person find all such examples in the poem so we know that the speaker describes the knight like a person and the movement like a person's movement okay and uses uh, the pronoun he for uh, knight okay so we'll see such examples like uh, comes down the lane obviously it's like a person who is coming down the lane okay so comes down the lane was one example then all alone is another example then not a sigh is yet another example he is at garden gate this is also one example he is at the window sill this is also example so we see the examples like comes down the lane all alone not a sigh third one fourth one is he is at the garden gate and fifth one is he is at the window sim next one words in use there are many words and phrases in the poem which tells us how night comes quietly find the examples from the poem okay so examples which is given in the poem that tells that how night comes quietly is all alone okay uh, without a word that shows that uh, the uh, night is coming very quietly not a footfall uh, next one not a sigh next one is not a ripple of the air of air next is not a sound to reckon by then next is he's at the garden gate and the next one is he's at the window sill these are the examples that shows that how night comes quietly okay i repeat all alone 
then without a word then uh, not a footfall next is not a sigh next not a uh, this ripple of air next is not a sound to reckon by and next is he is at the garden uh, gate and last one is he is at the window sill okay then going further but what is the given it think of two or three other things that come quietly without anybody watching them write them in your note what can you imagine that what other things that come very quietly and they don't want the others to be you know seen for they don't want themselves to be seen by others thieves right chore thieves comes at night no and they come very come at night very quietly and they don't want themselves to be seen by others so thief you can write one example common example that comes in a house is cat cat also comes very quietly na to lap the milk and all so cat you can write okay and then dawn dawn d a w n dawn that is morning sun rises quietly and means very quietly becomes a uh, bright with sunlight and there is no sound nothing very quietly it comes so you can write dawn or morning okay so children this was about the explanation of the poem and also the book exercises okay and question answers you will get as pdf and that you will write in a neat and clean handwriting in your copy okay and i hope you all have completed your first term and second term uh, work in your english to copy because any time it will be collected okay thank you